What's going on everyone? Welcome to Mati Zone. For today, we are going to review this figure. It's the Marvel Legends Silver Surfer Series 5 and with Howard the Duck. Okay, I bought this one loose from a Toycon um, sometime this year. And I bought it loose. I almost have all the accessories. I'm just missing the 32-page um, comic book. Okay. So, if you buy this one brand new, it will come in a clamshell packaging or retro packaging, which is, re which is really colorful, guys. But uh, apart from that, I love this figure. This is one of my um, favorite f figures growing up. I think this is one of the uh, first Marvel uh, characters that came out, okay, if I am right. So, this was released by Toy Biz in 2003 right and it is really nice figure as you can see there um it comes with the uh howard duck um the base uh space rock which l looks like a cheese <laughs> and as well as the magnetic base all right and the figure so so what we're gonna do now just, is just follow me and let's do a review on this silver surfer figure so first of all, um, Makazon, let's start with the Howard the Duck, okay? So he stands three inches tall. Nice uh, paint job. And the only articulation here is the hands, it rotates, and the head, right? And then that's all. Right, it's made of soft material and no, very nice sculpt. Okay, and next one is the uh, base stand. So, this one here you can remove it right there. Okay, and this one here attached to the, um, the uh, board of um, Silver Surfer. See those two um, holes there? Okay. And uh, which goes in here right and this one here you can mount it on your wall there's a screw there so which is a good thing right and this one here a nice paint job a little bit washed and it's the uh, like a space rack and this one here you can move it like that okay so mount it on your wall and this, the uh, skate um, skateboard here of Silver Surfer. There, right? Okay, and next one is the board or skateboard or whatever you call it. At the middle here, it is the metallic or sorry, at the middle here is the magnet. This strip right here. Okay. And that's the two uh, pegs for the base. And I like the uh, metallic silver color of it. Okay. And this one here is around almost 7 inches. It's a little bit heavy. Maybe because of the uh, magnet here. This one. Okay. And now let's go with the figure. So this is the figure. So this is the figure, it stands 6 inches tall, okay, so by the way before we proceed, I just want to um, shout out Christopher De La Cruz, he was the one who requested for me to um, uh, review this figure because this is one of his favorite, okay, so shout out to you, okay, continuing. So, the sculpt is very nice as you can see. Metallic, um, silver, very good amount of it. Okay. And the only thing that I don't like here is the head, the head sculpt. As you can see, it's round here. They should have used the regular um, head sculpt, right? And the eyes, it kind of look like an alien, right? You see there 
so that's the only downside of it but apart from that everything looks good is okay all right so the articulation the head it rotates all the way around moves up and down okay and you have this um, butterfly articulation here so this one is really posable so there's a lot of articulation on this figure right and you have the upper bicep and the um, this one here the elbow very good range and you have this one here as well okay and this one here too and then on the wrist up and down okay and diaphragm look at that and bending um, up uh, backwards so that's how far it can go you have a waist articulation here and right here this one right that's for both there you go you can see the marking there it says 2003 toy biz right and this one here the knee double peg right and the shin and the ankle and this one here as well the toe articulation and there's a little bit of side knockers on it right so i really love this figure it's it kind of you know it kind of look look good and when you hold it it, it it is nice you know and uh yeah so i bought this one like 10 bucks to be honest with you canadian and one of my favorites so at the bottom you'll see here this one's here those these are magnets so when you put it on top of his board there at the middle so it is really strong even even like only one foot so which is really good right guys no complaints about this figure it's just the head sculpt right it's gonna look weird just for a size comparison so wolverine is like five and a half inches tall and silver surfer is six inches all right guys so overall guys i have no complaints everything looks perfect it's just the head sculpt once again okay i keep saying that but anyways i hope you guys like our video today give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not yet and hit that notification bell so you will get updated on our next videos like i always say guys keep searching and keep collecting bye for now